Meanwhile, principal of Hallmark Secondary School, Undo, says the institution provides a safe, happy environment for students where they are able to be themselves and thrive while acquiring the educational foundation needed to achieve excellence. Mr. Babalola Olushegun Ojetunde said this at the school end of the year Christmas carol service held at the school premises yesterday night. Our reporter, Angela Dako, was there and now reports. Hallmark Secondary School, Ondo, had its yearly Christmas carol service on Monday, 12th December 2022. It was packed full with beautiful performances ranging from an inspiring praise worship session led by the school choirs to beautiful carol rendition and Bible exhibitions. The ceremony was well attended by key hallmark officers, invited guests and pupils. The carol service was fun, entertaining and educative as the pupils wowed everyone present with their musical dexterity and beautiful crafted presentations. <laughs> One of the highlights of this year's Hallmark Secondary School Christmas Carol service was the presentation of Bible exhibition as the students once again demonstrated while they remained one of the best schools in the country. In Genesis, Jesus Christ is the breath of life. In Exodus, is the Passover lamb. In Leviticus, he is our high priest. In Deuteronomy, he is our prophet like unto Moses. In Joshua, he is the captain of our salvation. In Judges, Jesus Christ is our judge and our giver. In Ruth, Jesus Christ is our king's one redeemer. In the books of Samuel, he is our trusted prophet. In Kings and Chronicles, he is our reigning king. In the book of Ezra and Nehemiah, he is the rebuilder of the broken down walls of human life. In Romans, he is the righteousness of God. In the first Corinthians, he is the rock that followed Jesus. In second Corinthians, he is the triumphant one giving victory. In Galatians, he is our liberty, he sets us free. In the book of Ephesians, Jesus Christ is the head of the church. In Philippians, is our joy. In Colossians, is our completeness. In the book of First and Second Thessalonians, Jesus Christ is our hope. In the book of First Timothy, is our faith. Second Timothy, is our stability. In the book of Titus, he is our benefactor. In Philemon, he is truth. In Hebrews, is our profession. In James, is the foundation of our faith. First Peter is our light. Second Peter is our example. First John is our life. Second John is our motivation. Third John is our pattern. In Jude, it is our foundation of our faith and in revelation he is your coming king number one is the book of third john it contains one chapter 14 verses 299 words number two the book of second john contains one chapter 13 verses 303 words number three the book of philemon contains one chapter 25 verses 245 words number four the book of jude contains one chapter 25 verses 613 words number five the book of obadiah contains one chapter 21 verses 670 words. Number six, the book of Titus contains three chapters, 46 verses, 929 words. Number seven, the book of Second Thessalonians contains three chapters, 47 verses, 1042 words. Number eight, the book of Agai contains two chapters, 38 verses, 1131 words. Number nine, the book of Naum contains three chapters, 47 verses, 1285 words. Now, lastly, the book of Jonah contains four chapters, 48 verses. 1,321 words. I move on to the second part of chapter 4, which talks about thanks for their gifts. Paul was thanking the Philippians for everything that they've done, thanking them for their gifts, thanking them for their prayers. Also, gave them this word of encouragement in verse 13, which says, I can do all through Christ to me. And I've tried to all this in this life, that no matter what you do, as long as you have Christ on your side, He will surely strengthen you and will always be strengthened by God in Jesus' name. I move on to chapter 2. Chapter 2 talks about a high star was made queen. That was a Jew. His name was Mordecai, a Benjamin who brought up Adasai, that's Esther, his uncle's daughter. For she had neither father nor mother. 
So she was brought to the king's palace in the custody of Agai, in which she speedily gave her things for purification, and she found favor in the sight of the king. And that was how Esther was made queen, among all the maidens that were brought to the king's palace. And I'm assuring you that no matter what you're facing, no matter the difficult situation you are, God has a great plan in your life. And I pray you manifest that great plan in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. And in the land of Israel, there was a prophet who was known as Prophet Deborah. She was recorded as a woman of wisdom. She normally settled cases about the Israelites. If the Israelites had any case, she was one that normally settled them. But later on, after King Jabin was conquering the land, the Israelites were now sorry and they begged the Lord for help. And the Lord now told Deborah that she should tell Barak that she's going to help, that she's going to help the both of them to deliver them up from King Jabin. Then later on, the Lord now told Deborah and Barak to gather some troops that he, he will use those army to defeat them. Then in chapter 4, after Deborah and Barak finished defeating the army, chapter 4 now tells us about when Deborah and Barak praised the Lord for what he had done. That's later lingering into chapter 5. So the Lord will defeat him and encourage him. She remained joyful in the midst of trials, but the outcome of this type of testing perseveres and mature and complete faith. Then so look that God is faithful to this process and will grant us wisdom to endure it. Then chapter 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally and obey their not, and it shall be given him. May you while describing Hallmark Secondary School Undu as nationally ranked amongst the best international schools in the country, school principal Mr. Babalola Olushegun Ojetundi sums it up this way. Hallmark is very unique in, in all areas. It's a school that I think if you don't have your children, Please just get them in. We have children all over Nigeria and outside the country. It's a school that will groom your child, you know, spiritually, morally, and academically. Academically, I think we are always on top. Mention all the exams we are writing. Our children are doing fantastically well. We celebrate distinctions here. If, as a matter of fact, we run Cambridge curriculum also together with Nigerian curriculum. It's a school that you can learn so many things there. We teach our children morals, we teach them spiritual matters, and they are growing and they are doing wonderfully well. We have a lot of alumni of our school all over the world. They are in Asia, they are in America, they are in UK, Canada, doing fantastically well. In fact, OMAC has produced a great number of achievers all over the world, and they are doing great things. So that is why we are encouraging you to send your children to OMAC. Hallmark Secondary School Ondo was founded in the year 1995 out of a vision and a burden of the management to provide a secondary school of high academic and moral standard. A school that would groom and produce students that could fit into any situation and condition in life. Oh. Angela Daku, Captain TV News.